All right, fighthype.com. Sean Zatel here with Jizzy Mac. What's I get- going on? You already know the one and only, the Mackie Mac. <laughs> the Mac is back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Man, but uh, Jizzy still still one of the heads of Mayweather Security, or, or absolutely, I've been with him uh, for over ten years now, and you know we have a very close relationship, and he's one of my best friends. What's it? Uh, what's it like seeing Floyd? You know, even with the career over, he's basically a billionaire, but I see him in here working till he's sweating, sweating all over the place with kids and stuff. Why do you Man. think he's in here doing that? I guess that's uh, that's makes uh, that's makes him a different than everybody else because you know he, even though he's retired he still want to keep the healthy body and uh, it's not only about money all the time so it's all about your health and being well being and uh, you know he's put in the work and uh, you know you never know he might come back so but at the end of the day he's living a comfortable life and he made it uh, you know throughout over 20 decades and he's doing a tremendous job and he, all his staff is including me still working for him and uh, you know he has multiple uh, million dollars project uh, you know that he, he has and he's been working on and he's doing great I mean you can't hate on a man he, cr- he created himself self-made man absolutely why do you think he's he works with uh, kids some of these kids probably won't even ever go box professionally but why is he what do you, why do you think he's working with so many kids right now? It's just, um, I mean, you only get one chance, one opportunity to even, you know, um, maybe I'm used to Floyd, but we used to, I mean, I've been with him 10 years, so I don't look at I look at Floyd a different way, but if you're somebody outsider and you come here, you see Floyd, you know, he's the GOAT, so, you know, best of the best in boxing, hands down, I mean, numbers don't lie, 50 and 0. And uh, when, you know, if somebody out from the outside perspective is going to see him, anybody want to work with him and, uh, you know, get a little time and just go hands on hands with him and do some pad work or, you know, bag work or anything. Do you think part of, like, do you think he gets something out of actually working with people who aren't necessarily going to become champions or professional boxers? Absolutely, like because uh, it's all about giving back and Floyd is all, all about, you know, he's been doing it over 20 decades and he's been giving back to so many, in so many different ways and uh, not everything has to be on a camera and he's done it behind the scene and uh, this is another way of giving back to the community. Yeah, he's even given a number of kids a pair of gloves Absolutely. that were his, right? Because, you <laughs> to know, just take home. You never know, these are the future. So, you know, uh, Floyd is... Uh, retired for now and he's 43 and almost I'm almost 40 so it's time for these kids to shine and maybe by seeing him he might not be a boxer but he get motivated and he'd be a you know champion just like Tank you know he came out here three years ago and guess you know guess what where he at he's you know he's making millions of dollars so you never know uh, I, I was there with you the last couple of days to get to see uh, Tank spar a couple times. What do you think of how he looks in sparring right now? Absolutely. I mean, uh, I look at Tank as a, a little Mike Tyson. He he got the dynamite and and in and Floyd show him a lot of different tricks. And uh, I'm sure he's gonna he's gonna give his best uh, in an upcoming fight. Uh, and I and you know I'm, we're behind him. And he's you know he's part of the Mayweather promotion and. He's doing a tremendous job, and he always, every day he comes out and he put the hard work and dedication. Where does Tank rank among the guys you've seen uh, outside of Floyd come into the gym and work up close? Where's he rank? As rank as far as as, as uh, all the guys that you've seen come through the gym and got seen work. Where is he? Is he near the top of the list? Is he? Um, I think I think Tank uh, Tank. Um, I mean, he's a champion, and I think sooner or later he's he's gonna put everybody behind him. He's got a tremendous. Uh, um, he put a new mindset, and then all you did, you know, and he put the hard work and dedication, and he's going to be the world champion, and he's going to beat everybody. And uh, you know, one thing that we do know, Floyd got um, Tank got Floyd behind him, which is you know he got the best ever behind him, and uh, by working and communicating together, he'll be the best ever. Do you think uh, he? How do you think his fight with Santa Cruz goes in mm-hmm. October? I mean, Santa Cruz is the hell of the fighter, and um, he got a lot, a lot of experience. But um, I personally, um, I gotta go with Tank because um, Tank not only a good fighter, he can move, and also he he got that dynamite. And if Tank's gonna hit you, you gotta go to sleep. Especially that uppercut, Absolutely, right? Absolutely, that uppercut or that hook. You got him. <laughs> yeah, that the body, right, <laughs> right, the right, body. Right. Oh boy, <laughs> he's a very talented kid, and I wish him nothing but the best. Decision or knockout? I will say 
six, seven round knockouts. Mm -hmm. Should be a fun fight. It would be a fun fight. <laughs> but Sam, once again, Santa Cruz is a hell of a fighter as well. So he's been in the game for a long time and he got a tremendous, um, you know, uh, he got a good chin and he got a good cardio. And Tank has been working on his cardio and uh, his conditioning. So it's going to be a hell of a good, hell of a fight. Well, speaking of cardio, though, how were you able to do all that workout and all them sit ups eating? I know you eat rigatoni and <laughs> yeah. you, I know you eat some rigatoni, man. <laughs> how, how, how you? <laughs> You know, I um, some I, I love it. I, I come here whether Floyd is not here or he's here. I just come here and uh, I do it for you know. I don't fight no more. I used to fight you know a little bit here back a long time ago in a cage, and um, but now I just do it for love. It's just for love of the sport and also for uh, well-being, and also for me just to be preferred because you never know when you fight. You know when you when you know what you're doing is also give you a boost and confidence. And it seems like you guys are friends, not just a business thing at this point, right? Absolutely. Yeah. He's one of my best friends, and uh, we have a very, very close relationship. And um, he's been with me since day one, and um, I'm going to go with him until the end of the line. And lastly, Jizzy, um, is there a, an awesome story, dope story, you could share with us uh, all those years on the road with Floyd, all these fights? <laughs> I'm, I'm going to tell you the story how it started with Floyd. Um, um, I used to come here and box every time, and... Uh, you know, I was in a very bad shape back in the time and uh, I really needed the money. And I came here and I started helping out in the gym and uh, one of his best friends talked to him about me. And one day I came out here and Floyd um, was training for one of his fights back in the time. And uh, he, you know, he was leaving the gym. He told me, why don't you go wear all black and meet me at the MGM Grand. He was getting an uh, award for the best athlete. And uh, that time, I, you know, I met him at the valet at the MGM Grand. And, you know, he said, just follow the security. I didn't know what I was doing, so I was very super nervous. And I was like, you know, I gotta make this, I gotta make this opportunity, this once in a life opportunity. And I always wanted to work for one of the biggest celebrity, which is Floyd. And um, after everything finished, and you know, I've, uh, I moved around with the security, he told me to come to his gym, uh, his Rolls Royce. So I was sitting there, he was on his phone like it was hot, for like it hot in the car. It was like 80, 85. I was sweating out, I was nervous, I didn't know what he was doing. After 50 minutes, he's like, reach out to my back. So he gave me a uh, seven or eight grand. Oh, he's, like, you, he's like, you with me. So I open up the bag, he's like, why don't you reach out and take out eight grand for yourself. So ever since then, you know, I show my loyalty. And was he testing you with that hot car? Absolutely. <laughs> Is that what I was that was? Sweating, I was nervous. And that's how we started, and ever since then, I start, uh, we start having a closer and closer relationship and I show my loyalty and uh, you know everything else that needed to be done and I earned my spot. And that's the side of Floyd Mayweather not a lot absolutely, of people may know. Absolutely, a lot of people only see what they want to see on a, on a social media but um, there's a bigger picture, you know, there's, he, he has a tremendous team that he, he has to feed and uh, he has to make sure that everybody okay from his family to his team and uh, he's doing a tremendous job and i wish him nothing but the best and you know he got us he got lord jesus behind him and it's all about believing in yourself and putting the hard work and you can make it thanks jesse <laughs> thanks so much thank you grazie paisan grazie mille <laughs> <laughs> grazie.